It's locked. It's locked. The Good Soup Family Crypt. It's a scrap metal recycling bin. Those are too far gone to ever be useful. It's a smelly old dog. Not very social, I guess. Okay, fella, this won't hurt a bit. Hey, I guess it didn't hurt a bit. He must be shedding. I can't see anyone in there right now. It's locked tight. I can't see anyone in there right now. It's locked. Boy, it's windy up here. This is where the lighthouse light would go, if it had one. With all these broken windows, it's no wonder the light blew out. It concentrates the light into a beacon for wayward vessels. Makes a man proud. Luckily, I don't need to adjust it. This village is deserted. How curious. It's a table covered with different fruits and vegetables. It's an auger.
Okay. somehow. Perhaps it's because I look like a big lemon. Oh yeah, but it's more than that. We've met before, back on Monkey Island. Ah, uh, Monkey Island. We had a nice village there. Rent-controlled huts close to the good schools. Those were the salad days, so to speak. Till they put in that darned carnival. Carnival? Yes, carnival. Just as soon as they put up the first tent, whoosh, the whole place becomes trendy. Sailors coming in at all times of the night. That awful music droning on and on. And to be honest with you, I think the Midway games are rigged. Yeah, yeah. At night, it wasn't safe for a cannibal to walk the island alone. Cannibals? You say that like it's a bad thing. Well, it's true. But we are no longer vicious and bloodthirsty cannibals. No? No. We underwent a paradigm shift in our belief system several years ago. Pair of dimes? We decided we wanted to live a healthy cannibal lifestyle, completely cut back on our fatty missionary intake and went vegetarian altogether. But there certainly was a time I would have eaten you. Young guy like you, not too much muscle. Hey! I'd probably marinate you in white wine for 45 minutes. Dip you in a light corn batter. Wrap you in banana leaves and bury you in a pit with a hundred hot coals. Let you roast overnight. Then I'd serve you on a bed of basmati rice with a garnish of shiitake mushrooms and shallots. <laughs> but not anymore, right? <laughs> but, but not anymore, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, right, right. Nice village you have. Thanks. It's not much, but we call it home. We've been doing our best to capture the classic charm of a headhunter village, while at the same time incorporating all the modern conveniences brought to us by the European explorers. You may have noticed our first state-of-the-art bloodletting clinic, which has been cleverly designed to look like a traditional shaman's hut. How quaint. Yes, we think so. Do you live in fear of the fruit fly menace? Not since I switched to a malathion-based cologne. Very alluring. Thank you. I'm Guybrush. Boy, am I getting tired of saying this. Threepwood, mighty pirate, yada, yada, yada. I am Lemonhead. Can I help you with something? Aren't you afraid the volcano will destroy your village? The volcano? Oh, no. Mount Acidophilus is completely harmless. We have curried favor with Sherman, the all-powerful god of the volcano. The god of the volcano likes spicy foods? Shut up, or I'll eat you. Okay. When we first landed on this island, the volcano god was most upset. Belching out smoke, vomiting up lava. It was disgusting, really. And potentially hazardous. We knew we had to do something to pacify the Volcano God, and we assumed a good sacrifice would do the trick. A reasonable assumption. But when we threw the sacrifice into the Volcano, Mount Acidophilus erupted violently. We thought Sherman was upset at us, so we started making sacrifices every day. We tried everything. Fish, poultry, livestock, phenylalanine. The usual. Then one day, we tried Brie. There was a huge eruption that nearly killed us all. What happened? Sherman is lactose intolerant. Ah, uh, it all makes sense now. Now, Sherman is on a very strict diet. He only gets fresh fruit, vegetables, and of course, soy products for the protein so important to muscle building. Stand aside, I mean to visit the volcano. I'm afraid I cannot allow that. Our ritual offering is about to begin. Terrific, I'm fascinated by your quaint tribal customs. Postcards and slides are available in the lobby. Non-cannibals are forbidden from witnessing the actual ceremony. That's so unfair. Tell it to the volcano gods. I don't make the rules, you know. When does the ceremony begin? 
It was supposed to have started half an hour ago. Even now, members of my village are preparing a human-like sacrifice for the Volcano God. Human-like? Due to the delicate nature of the Volcano God's digestion, we can't actually feed him real humans. So we sacrifice a human substitute. It doesn't really taste like a human, but it has a similar texture. So what's the holdup? We're still waiting for our featured guest. Who's your featured guest? He's an ambassador from one of the other islands. It's all part of a new cannibal outreach program between the villages. Apparently not all villages are as punctual as ours. Uh, I'll help you find him. What does he look like? I don't know. He should be dressed for the ceremony. And he'd better be a vegetarian. We specifically asked for a vegetarian. I really want to see the volcano. You're just not a cannibal. And your presence would defile the sanctity of our ceremony. Oh, can't you make an exception just this once? It's an emergency! I'd like to. But if I let you in, then I'd have to let everybody in. Next thing you know, cannibalism is in, and they're making documentaries about us. I bring a gift for the Volcano God. Oh, we can't take gifts from outsiders. Government regulations, health codes, taboos, that sort of thing. I'll send him your regards, though. Gotta run. Bye.